Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Chessa K. Hutchinson, thank you for being here. And Miss Gold Robinson, thank you for being here. Shout out to the two first people here. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra, special, big up. Shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to my entrepreneurs, my stay-at-home moms and pops, my retirees. Shout out to all the drivers, the Uber driver, the Lyft driver, the truck driver, taxi driver, round town truck driver, food delivery drivers, over the road, long distance truck drivers. Shout out to the brother Troy Stars Trucking Vlogs on YouTube. Troy, big up yourself and my audience. Please continue to support Troy. I think he's at 40 something thousand subscribers right now and growing. So for those of you who have and continue to, then continue to do so. And for those of you who haven't, please do so. All right. Shout out to every single clean hearted, good hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. We're going to talk this morning and we have a lot to talk about this morning. Let's see. On the menu this morning, we have, I'm going to go big up my first 10 or so in a minute. But on the menu we have this morning, SoFlo TV sends a message to Mr. Vegas. We're going to talk about that because he tried something yesterday and I'm going to address it right off of the back of the whole Maka Diamond video we did yesterday talking about her experience and stuff. All right. We have some updates on Dog Paw. Dog Paw is the reputed gangster, uh, the notorious Dog Paw. You know, he met his demise yesterday. We're not talking about the demise. We're talking about situations surrounding that. And there's some updated news to that. To include a message from Leah, who is the daughter of Mr. Tom Tavares Finson. And... I'm going to tell you a story that a lady called yesterday. I'm going to tell you this lady ball like a baby when she started. She just busts out and she's been holding this for years. She's, uh, we're going to get into her story. And again, that's another story um, that might lead us into something bigger. But let me talk this morning. Let me pick up some good people first, some faithful people first, some people who tune in, right? So darling Walter Riley, Big up yourself, Rika Lou. Big up yourself, um, Perlis123, Marlene McLeod. Great goodies. Good morning. Lashana Alexander, Antoinette Simpson. I'm an inspired. Junior Lee, King Biggs. Good morning. Angie Hart67, Jet Bar, at Twiggy876. Big up yourself, Debbie Payne, Tam Tamira Brown Ford, Karen Roberts, Ethan Edwards. Oral Green, big up yourself, Sophie B. Sally Edwards, talk truth is in the house. Sativa and Kim Wood, big up yourself. Whoever I didn't say big up yourself to, then you already know. It's manners and respect, same way. Like Kenrick Shamar, J.A., Kenrick Shamar, J.A., big up yourself, and Anika Dice, and the rest of you. All right, all right? So let's get into this, because, you know, time is flying. Sips my tea inside of my cup this morning. I have a new cup. All my other cup then broke up. That's how life goes when you have children and these kind of things. I have a new cup. It doesn't say so flow on it, but it holds my tea. And inside of my cup is just some lemon. Slice up some lemon, put some boiling water on the lemon, let it sit for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and now I'm consuming it. Warm water on lemons or limes removes mucus from the body so says something that is scientifically proven so may i try you know keep my health intact because health is wealth and in that regard i want to be very wealthy all right let's talk so yesterday morning we did a video and the live was about started out with the macadam thing and off of that we spun off into other people having the same experiences etc and then this whole rape culture and all these things do you know my headline for that video says maka diamond fake cry and then it says something else and more go look at the video from yesterday you see the headline as soon as that video started yesterday i said exactly why i put maka diamond fake cry 
And it was because there were a lot of people in the comment section saying, move on, go ahead, fake cry, the girl, fake cry. And we talked about creating a hostile environment for victims so they feel like they can't come out and say what has happened to them. Well, on them, for sure, Michelle, because it's one of them kind of morning. There's a bomb clock morning. See that? And I'm in the shirt again. All right. So what Mr. Vegas did yesterday was take my video, right, and distributed it on other platforms and put stuff like um, clickbait. Big, big old Mr. Vegas, you know, big old Mr. Vegas that has his fame already and everything. Clickbait, take my video, put it on another platform, clickbait, and the beginning is true, something. Okay. Why? This ain't my first rodeo or my first running with Mr. Vegas. And for some reason, Mr. Vegas feels like he's, he's he, he feels like this platform is something he should fight down. He feels like this platform is something he should degrade and disrespect. Okay, you feel that way. That's cool. That's cool. I kind of know where it's coming from because I did videos in the past where I said, in order for Jamaica to dominate the space of dancehall globally, Jamaican artists are going to have to start to do some Marcus Garvey movement, which is as you climb up that ladder, you reach back and pull someone else up and then you share your spotlight with them so that when your fame tapers off, because fame don't last forever, not most of the people who were hot 10 years ago, they're not hot now at all, right? Some of them, you even wonder if they still do music and entertainment. So the way how you keep brand Jamaica going, big conversation, you know, is you share your spotlight with another. Don't wait until your star has faded. Don't wait until the light is not on you anymore like that. It's them. You're still booking shows, yes, but you're not the big headline star that's coming by and all these things. So people don't really pay attention to you much anymore. Do it while you have the opportunity to do it. That was the discussion surrounding. So I said, people like Bounty Killer, he can add that to his resume because Bounty tried with a lot of people. And out of the lot of people that he tried with, a good number of them are now multi-millionaire superstars. Like Bounty can definitely say, yes, I took this person, put them in the game. Me even bring them to the studio. I was in the studio telling him, no, sing the part the over like this. All right, make a voice sound like that, though. Coach them with your expertise. You understand? And build Brand Jamaica globally. Next time we see a big artist, we should be saying stuff like, yeah, a bounty artist, that you know, a bounty boss him. Or a Mr. Vegas artist, that you know, a Mr. Vegas boss him. And I called out a couple of names. And I said, people like Sean Paul should have been done that. People like Shaggy should have been done that. But Shaggy did do that. Shaggy have Rick Rock and him have other people that he has been with him since day one. And he still tours the world with them. You understand? So because Mr. Vegas' name was up in the mix, I guess he feels offended. Because ever since then, he's been coming at this um, platform sideways like crazy. Now, Mr. Vegas was one of them that was instrumental in spreading the rumor that so Flow TV, a stripper boy from down in Miami, and now him get a little platform on YouTube. Him and him fly back to fans, them thinks that him a somebody. You know, that he described the people that come here as fly back to fans or fly back to people. Whether that means fly or follow your body car, you stink, or it means you are like the fly that follows somebody body car, them shit up themselves. That's, the, that's what I got from that. Remember, I know, I'm not hard to reach. 1-806-587-8953. It's a public number. That's my business number. And I encourage people to call for business only. But if you as a person like a Mr. Vegas and you have an issue with me, you can reach out directly. And if you feel like you're too afraid to go FaceTime or voice call, soflowtv at gmail.com. Send a long message or write out a letter. I'm not hard to reach and I respond to people. My purpose here is not to disrespect. My purpose here is not to degrade. My purpose here is not to drag down. And even when I see people doing stuff who deserve some disrespect, degradation, and some dragging down, I still try to put a positive spin on it so somebody else 
who is watching can actually learn from it. Because we learn from other people. I don't need to touch stove for no say stove I'm going to burn my hand. If me say the man before me touch the stove and me see him say, ah, then me, in my mind, say, me not touch that because it burned him. That's why he's acting like that. Not true? All right. Mr. Vegas himself, though, take up my video and put it up with that kind of a headline. When people like those, you know, the first thing I thought about, I said, I'm going to start the show off this morning with that Jack Your song there. But them no build great man, them only kill great man. Mr. Vegas be still on the underrate man. Yeah, them thing there. Because of that to my door. Just be still, brother. Don't underrate this thing. I have never said anything bad about you. I said facts. There is no artist out there today who is in the top headline who we can point and say, oh, Mr. Vegas give him the bus there. None. Okay, get past it. Why the big old drag down? Why the drag through the media? And every time you do it, I'm going to address you intellectually and I'm going to address you with facts. You're never going to see me come to you and say, up on your mother and all these things. I'm not one of those kind of people, okay? Me respect people, mother, even when they don't respect them themselves. So you get on media, you talk all these things, you do extra work to try to tear this platform down or to degrade this platform. And I want to ask you this. Have you ever seen me disrespect Jamaica, brand Jamaica, and if you have, pull up the video because I don't really erase my videos from YouTube. They're there and they've been there since I started a couple of years ago. So pull up the video where you've seen me disrespecting Jamaica. Pull up the video where you've seen me ever tell people that place their crosses, throw a stone behind you, don't go back. Pull up the video where you've ever seen me single out any Jamaican, young Jamaican that's doing good or trying to do something and try to tear them down. Pull up them video there because you will never see it. In other words, I am a uplifter of my people. I am an educator of my people. Not only that, I go to them for education also. That is why we have this platform. So we share information. I don't know everything and I don't claim to know everything. I learn from others just as they learn from me, right? I am entertained by others just as they're entertained by me, these kind of things. So I don't understand the kind of energy that he's pushing. A part of the video had me very, you know, people send their subliminal message all the time. So when he put my video up yesterday, what he did was took the time to put a red dot in the middle of my forehead. Hmm. I take that as a threat because red dot means laser upon gun. Red dot means you've been red dotted. To be red dotted, ask any gangster in the U.S. what red dot means. You've been red dotted. You know what that means? That means it's on site. That means you've been marked. That kind of stuff. In other words, plain and simple, man want put a gunshot right just in between your two eye them, in your forehead. And I thought, why did he go through such great lengths to put my pick, to take the time to edit my stuff, uh, my, my thumbnail, and put a red dot in the middle of my forehead? What is all this about? You see, for the people, before I even say anything more, for the people who say stuff like, man, both of y'all could do such great things, but no need to stop fighting. I don't want to hear from none of them. I don't want to hear from any of you. Because, for one, me and nobody is fighting. You say that stuff to people when both of them are fighting. But when one person is constantly being attacked by the other, you don't come out and talk. It's because I'm most on a fridge for talk. Or for some reason, you're loyal to one side than the other. I don't want any of that. I don't want no blind loyalty. I don't want anybody lying to me. I am not a person that is filled with ego. People see me out the road, I hear me, so flow. Oh, my God, so flow. I can't believe I'll, I'm actually meeting you in a real person. Mr. me watch you every day, you know. Them thing that make my head swell big, as in I am happy. And ask anybody who have met me. Whether it was in Jamaica or in the U.S. or anywhere I've been, ask anybody who have ever met me, and they'll tell you, yo, the youth does look regular. Him does humble. Him stand up and talk to me outside of Walmart for a good 20 minutes and these kind of things. Me and no kind of star where I'll talk to my people and call my people to get to me and, oh, I'm better than anybody and me a big star and all these things. I don't join that delusional illusion 
Me no live in another world there. I live in real time in the real world, right? I move around out the street. That's why I'm very careful about how I place my material because I don't want anybody to see me out in the streets with bad energy. But you can't please everybody. So no matter how good you try to be and how good you are and how good of a track record you can show, then there will always be somebody. We talk about this all the time. Sometimes people don't like you just because other people like you. Sometimes people don't like you because they're seeing progress. That's why I say every morning, shout out to the people who want good for others as much as they want good for themselves. It's a difference to want good for yourself, but you want more good for yourself than you want for others. That's a different person compared to a person who wants the same kind of good for themselves. Everything in life that is good that I want for me, I want it for those people out there as well. You people as well. I'm that kind of a person. So I'm going to understand the big red dot in the forehead and you uh, misleading people calling my stuff clickbait. And the damage is this. Remember, I know if Walmart, if Pepsi, if any kind of big entity has some other entity that is defiling their brand in any way, they go out to do control. See, this is my brand. So I have to do control. And I can't spend my days barking at every fly that pass in the air. But I understand this game. And I understand some people that have some kind of pull. It's Mr. Vegas. Who don't know Mr. Vegas? So when Mr. Vegas start using his time to discredit you, you're going to have a whole host of people that are going to be joining right along because that's what they do. A bunch of yes man. Within a minute of him putting that thing up, there were a lot of people on there. That boy, they're narcissistic enough. That's why I mean, you know my spirit never take him from day one. These are the things they're saying about me. About me. You know, Mr. Vegas. Mr. Vegas has never said, and, and this would make sense. Yo, there's a vlogger out there named SoFlo. He's been doing it for a while now, right? I don't know if you know about him. SoFlo TV always I tell people, he's trying to get the expatriates, the people who left Jamaica and said, Jamaica mess up long time, me gone, and I'm not coming back. And they're overseas living a wonderful life. SoFlo is trying to get those people to come back and to see the country differently. That's my platform. Hey, man, we've made changes. The place has changed. Yes, killing and murder still are going, and I keep them updated with those too because I don't want them to land in at the place and think, oh, it's a utopia. Everything has changed, and them end up running around place, run around park, in you know, some things, and then make front page news. See? So I, ed I, ed I educate, but I keep people in line with what it feels like currently, where things are on the island currently, these kind of things. I tell everybody, if you're born in Jamaica and you're comfortable overseas, because a lot of us are, we're comfortable where we're at, right? Somehow we have nice things wrong and we're good. Don't turn your back on where you come from, though. I encourage my people to go home, not just Jamaica, the whole Caribbean. Go back to your island. Go invest. Your people put down them blood, sweat, and tears and legacy in that soil, and you're just going to abandon it because of what? Yes. So go home. Invest. I even tell people, listen, if you haven't been home in a while, you're probably going back to a country that you no longer know because Jamaica has made so much progress, right? Remember the days when you had to fly in, but you had to coordinate and tell people when you are come at airports or somebody can pick you up and all these things, especially if you live in the rural areas. Right now, you come out at airport in Jamaica, you can jump in a taxi and go right to your yard, any which part on the island you live. Not only that, you can rent a car right from the airport and drive one about your business. And good road did it. And GPS is there that takes you. The GPS so accurate. I'm going to some place. And I'm surprised to see the GPS lead me into those places right up to where I want to go. So modern times and things are changing. I have to let the people know that. Keep them abreast with these changes that's going on. Encourage them to invest. Encourage them to come back. Encourage them to even visit and these kind of things. Take your expertise. Some people over here, highly educated. They came to America. They made the best out of every opportunity that came their way. Now they're highly educated. They're highly skilled. Those things would benefit the island. Dr bring those people back. See? 
Me never see them man they promote them kind of message they yet, but you claim you want good for people. Good for people by doing what? By exposing people. Him put out something the other day about Bounty Killer, and I hate to repeat it. Bounty Killer breed a girl when she did a 15 or 14 or something like that, and he was 21 and something. Okay, you putting that up. You know, for one minute, me and wifey had discussed the thing, and I said, boy, that don't look good because he was 21 and she was 14 or 15. If my daughter was that age and a man like that age breed her, I would have been mad. But at the same time, it wasn't like a 40-year-old. Not that it's okay. It's still wrong. But it's not like it was a 40-year-old and um, breeding my, 20, my 14 year old daughter. And I'm thinking in line of so much time has gone by. But to kill a raise the whole and pick to them. Him take care of the whole and pick to them. Even if him breed a girl at that age and it was wrong then, ain't nothing that can be done about it now. So you bringing these things out now, right? Okay, you're doing it. Then I went back and looked a little, looked a little further. I said, damn, he has an incentive to do this. Because a bounty are the first one we call him out time name. And that name stuck to him when, when bounty killer said Gagas instead of Vegas. And people start calling him Gagas for years, right? So he has an incentive to keep digging up and doing stuff like that. But people now who don't know those whole stories, they're looking at it like, yes, I got a bounty killer, a pedophile too. Mm -hmm. Mr. Vegas, you are the man. Expose them, Mr. Vegas. Expose them. Okay, man. If you get your kicks off that, then that's fine. But I want to know why you feel like you have to tear down this. Come in over here, I do nothing bad. I'm not over here doing anything bad at all. At all. The sad part is, and this is why when you guys say, so Flo, how come you not promote so-and-so music? How come you not promoting this so-and-so? Uh, okay, for this reason right here. Because I've actually spoken good about Mr. Vegas. I said, besides the fact that he didn't bust anybody while he had the limelight, put that to the side. He's a stellar performer. Go look up my videos. I've said this. This is somebody. I said he's a stellar performer. He's probably one of the best at, at it, most entertaining. I've also said I've seen him perform on three continents. Me in the audience, watch him perform, and him shell the place every time. So to see that kind of a person bring that energy, it's like, hmm, yeah. Enough of them people here where are going like they good and are masquerade. Me I tell you, no, no, no. That's why enough of them don't want me around their circle because they know them, the energy is different. Them feel the energy, my energy different. See? I get straight to the truth, and it's, that's all you have to do is get straight straight to the truth. The truth. This man not bigging up nothing positive. He's pretending to be positive, but on, on the back end, it's all about getting his, keeping his name out there, keeping his brand out there, selling whatever he is selling, and all that. Under the comment, I tagged him directly yesterday. I said, I bet you won't call in on morning thoughts and have a intelligent conversation. I want to know what all this is about. Right. I went to a couple other people and I thanked them because they were in the comment section and they said, one of them that he answered to, she said, um, she typed, oh, no, this is not true. If you watch the video, Soflo was actually defending Maka Diamond, and I was. Not only defending her, the conversation was broader for me. Me said it yesterday, Maka Diamond thing gone already. We can't do nothing about it. Of course, some people are going to be curious, want to know who did it, who she talking about. But besides all that, let's get past that. What's happened to her is still happening to others. How can we fix that? No, right? That kind of thing there. He's not into none of that. Let's have a good let's have a good conversation, Mr. Vegas. Let's have a good talk in front of people. Let's stop all this behind the scenes tear down thing. Come in and tear you down. I'm not trying at all because it's not in my intention. It's in my intention to see every one of my brothers and sisters win. It feels good to see when they win. But them people here, why I never promote this artist and that artist exactly that exactly that and at the same time their publicist manager whoever it is 
is surely sending all their latest work to my Gmail. Mr. Vegas just dropped new song and new video, something, something, just like I'm supposed to promote it. I'm not promoting you. You're tearing me down. You're trying your best to tear me down. Trying your best to tear me down. I don't want nobody to talk bad, disrespectful, but that's how he is. You know, that's how he is. I just don't understand why. Like, why, did, why try to tear down someone that's doing good? If you tear down people that are doing good, all you will be left with are people with bad intentions. That's only one plus one equal two. Simple mathematics. Let me say it again. If you tear down the people that are doing good or trying to do good, then you are only going to be left with those who are having ill intentions. That's what you want? Come here, try and understand. You know, and this ain't the first time. He was the one that came up, that big up the hole. Let me tell you, Cargo, and I said it to wifey. When Cargo did I go at everybody and Cargo said so flow TV, um, me see him in a strip club, strip club in Miami in a G string or something. You know, here they go again with that homophobic stuff and oh he's oh he he was in a gay strip club and that stuff, right? So Cargo had said that. I said to my wife, I said, Bill, nothing I'm going for Cargo right now. You don't hear nobody talking about him calling his name or anything. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ride this wave. Cargo is going to get some traction. Uh, as I'm saying, uh, Cargo is going to get some traction out of it because this is what the, it seems like the people like to hear nowadays. Not necessarily the music. They don't listen to the artists no more unless the artists have mixed up in a real life. So I made a video right after Cargo did that. And I said, yes, we dance in a strip club. But I didn't dance in any gay strip club. I danced in a strip club for women. So what if I'm getting my money and women like to see me naked? Not an issue. Mr. Vegas now take it and run with it and start talking one bag of things. My channel was getting shelled by Mr. Vegas fans, right? You liar, dear. You're a strip club, you're dancing, man. And gay strip club and everything. So I did another video explaining and I said, actually, let me tell you the real story. I was, the, I was working in a strip club. And again, I don't dance in gay strip clubs. I dance for women. And Mr. Vegas, baby mother was in there. I'm a long something slapper in our face when we did there. I wind up myself and went. Y'all know how I talk already, right? Wind up myself and wind up myself and something slapper in our face. And he's the Vegas mad about that. This is far where I come from. I know just now. See? But if you're going to spread rumors about me and false information about me and all these things and try to get stripes off of that, then, hey man, at least promote some of the positive stuff too. Because when I talk about you, I talk about the positive things that you have done. I even said Mr. Vegas is Mr. Vegas. He is solidified in the game. So, I mean, what you want, Miguel? Hmm? What, what more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? A lot of these people act like they're nice people. Act like they're good people. And their intentions are not good. Their intentions are not good. Faye Johnson says, I wish this could end. I am a fly batty fan of both. Ha, ha, ha. Well, you know, I guess he don't want no fly batty fans, but it's okay. Fly batty, no fly batty, whatever. Um, I didn't start it. I can't end it. It keeps on going on. And that red dot in the far means something to me more than just you. Because when you when you edit a picture, you consciously know what you're doing in editing the picture. When I make a thumbnail, I say, okay, the video is about Macadam and crying. So I'm going to find a picture with Macadam and crying. Then I put it into the editing software. And then now, what was the rest of the video about? It was about uh, Tom Tavares, Finson, um, being involved with this person. So I'm going to put Tom Tavares, Vincent picture there and the next person picture there. You are conscious of what you're doing. So for you to take a picture of mine, put a red dot in the forehead and post it to the public, you consciously knew what you were doing when you were putting that red dot there. And I'm sure you weren't saying that I'm a Punjabi Indian. Right? 
We come from the same culture. I know what time it is. See, I know what time it is. So, hey man, do you think, Mr. Vegas? It won't stop me from listening to your music. It won't stop me from still wind up myself when time of day a party and club and your music come on. I'm not gonna leave the dance floor all them I play on Mr. Vegas now. Jump over here for till that done. No, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna enjoy myself. I'm still gonna say peace and love to you. I'm still gonna say, but don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. No, no, no weak fence no over here. We don't go around looking for trouble. We defend ourselves. We're all about self-defense. See? And I'm going to leave that one right there. But please remember that. We don't go looking for trouble. We never box. Nobody first. We are big on self-defense, though. All right? So, what do you think, y'all, man? But just keep the negative energy away from me. If you're not going to say, and, 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 and let me close out this segment by saying this. If you, as Mr. Vegas, knowing who you are and say, okay, I have a powerful platform still, you know, say so you can still help some people. You can still bust some people. You can still actually bust some people. You running around trying to be a vlogger when you used to call people or the little dirty vlogger boy and vlogger gal. And now you vlogging. You're one of them who are talking. Ah, I must that. I must Remember when I said, this is why it keeps going. I said, some of these artists, they cuss vloggers for the longest because YouTube wasn't always what it is now. You had to claw your way up and fight through to get to little, you know? And now that the thing level out and people actually have built legit businesses out of this, now it's um everybody are jumping you seen celebrities, Jamaican celebrities, suddenly vlogging now. Them turn vlogger now with a YouTube channel now and everything. What happened when I was telling you all that? How come you never say, yo, so flow five years ago, tell we say, this year, are you licking up? Is that business enough? And you can get in there and expand your brand and build and do positive things with it and all these things, promote your own self and rare, rare, rare. How come you all not saying that? Why are you coming for me for? Hmm? And I didn't change the thumbnail from the video from yesterday because it's exactly what I wanted it to say. And it is exactly what I addressed in the video. If your thumbnail matches the content of your video, it is not a clickbait. A clickbait is when you click on a video or you look at a video and the thumbnail says, oh, some island somewhere with beautiful sunshine and a nice beach and girls in g-string and you go over there as a man now and you're like wow that place that look nice all them big buttons and they want to see what the video is about and you click on it and it's just some dude there talking about nothing that has to do with a place where big body girl there in a g-string and sunshine from pretty beach that's clickbait the man take him time to tell people say me i do clickbait and then you have these idiot people that run behind people like that. You know, yes, a long time, I don't like him, all them boy there. Some of them go as far as them boy there for dead. Really? For dead? Like, what did I do to deserve that? May I rape nobody? May I kill nobody? May I ship guns to Jamaica in barrels? Eh? I have street soldiers out terrorizing, hardworking, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens. Eh? And then people left for dead. If you're going to talk about people for dead. But you're trying to kill off and tear down people who are trying to do good. And then you consider yourself a good person. Yeah. Okay. More power to you, my brother. But anytime you're ready... My number is available publicly, and I'll say it one more time for you in ending. It's 1-806-587-8953. Call, FaceTime, and let's have a real conversation. No big crowd needed. Start the thing out like grown people. And if you can, I'll call, write a letter, and I'll respond. SoFloTV at gmail.com. All right? More power to you. Moving right along now. Dog bed him yesterday. Song mark, well, um, let me see, song, 
Psalm Mac 11, or uh, Psalm Man BK 11 says, yet you never give credit to L.A. Lewis. We use his video, so part I call Kettle Black. I don't know what you're talking about or who you're talking to, but everybody's material that I use a part of, they also use mine or my image. That's for one. For two is some of y'all only watch the videos. You don't read right under the video. Every video on YouTube comes with a description box right under the video. If I ever use anybody content, I put them name in there. All right. So you're getting carried away, but that's okay. I'm telling you, go read inside the description box, right? Or I say it out of my mouth. It's called plagiarism when you use people's stuff and you don't. You see, so this is another thing. You know, Nas did an uh, album with Junior Gong. And that was one of my favorite albums for a long while. But in that album, there's a particular song where he said, um, the, said something about like the smarter, something about ninjas instead of the N R word. Ninjas will always hate the smarter ones. I know what plagiarism is. I know how not to plagiarize. I give credit. I give credit either orally speaking. I give credit in writing. It'll go up at the end of the video or it is embedded in the video when I'm speaking. I'm calling out their name. I'm saying this is where I got it from. Or if you read the description box under the video, it'll be right there. All right. Some people like when you're a fool, fool person and they can manipulate your brain and say anything to you and all that. I'm not one of those kind of people. I'm not saying I am the most intelligent person, but I'm highly read and I am very educated. My parents spend good money sending me to a good school for a long time. I may never play around with my education either. Anybody who know me since I was a kid will tell you, yo, that boy, they are bright boy. But I don't come on here and play that up as that. But come talk to my people like people and deal with our issues. See? Shakira Sphere, wifey is in here. Wifey says, L.A. Lewis, call up him name and reply. People love chat but don't pay attention long enough to listen. Yeah, and they say derogatory things about me when they talk about me. You don't hear me talking about anybody's children. Young man out there talk about me picking look retarded and um, um, mentally challenged and handicapped. Yo, why do you think my wife got, my wife, she got Bex. She, she was like, I can't do this. I'm not doing it. Take down all the family video. It took, it took a long while. Why do you think our family channel, which is now BrainFlow TV, why do you think that channel don't go anymore as BrainFlow TV where we would do our family vlogs and travel together and put all that content over there? It's the amount of negativity that was coming out of our people. And it was stemmed from people like Mr. Vegas using their time to tear us down. So the derogatory things they're saying about my wife, they don't even know her. Derogatory things they're saying about my children. You'll never hear me yet say anything bad about anybody's children. I look at people's children like they're my children. So if me and you have something, it don't have nothing to do with your kids. But I understand war. And in war, everybody goes. Right? We all ride. That's war. So you want to ride on my family? Over what? What beef do we have that is that serious? To be degrading my wife? To be degrading my kids? What beef do we have that is that serious? Anyhow, again, let's move right along. The dog paw situation yesterday. Dog paw is no longer with us. Or is no longer with the streets of Jamaica. And uh, I don't know if some of y'all know it, but his child's mother, the mother of his 10-year-old son, is actually the daughter of parliamentarian, high-ranking official, and Queen's Council. We're talking about Leah Tavares Finson, the daughter of Tom Tavares Finson. Shout out to the observer. Ah, that's how I do it. Pay attention. That's Leah. See? Tom Tavares Finson's daughter. The observer. Just print this. The observer says, 
Leah Tavares Finson, the outspoken daughter of the noted attorney at law and president of the Senate, Tom Tavares Finson, and the mother of Christopher Dog Paul Linton, child, has expressed that she will miss Linton following his death earlier today. There's Because she said she will miss him, a lot of people are having a bunch of negative things to say. But may I address that real quick? See? Okay. She said she, she's telling them that she will miss him. Tavares Finson and Dogpa share a 10-year-old son together. In a post to her Instagram story a short while ago, Tavares Finson referred to the deceased as Pawpaw Bear, not Dogpaw, Pawpaw Bear. I will miss you, Pawpaw Bear, my dark paw, she wrote. She added, watch over us the right way now. In another post story, Tavares Finson shared a photo of dog Paul with their son and her other child. Other child. And then the rest of the story is about dog Paul was cut down by law enforcement after some intelligence, blah, blah, blah. All right, the part that I'm going to address in all of that is her saying she will miss her papa bear. That's affectionate. That's affectionate. Remember, these people don't only grow up in um, Jamaica, you know. So, in the U.S., Papa is usually reserved for grandfather. It's an affectionate term, or the man of the house, daddy, big bear, Papa bear. She probably didn't want to see the man as dog pa. Well, I want like say, you well, never meet a man before where you are all into him and all these things. I uh, saw so some of them end up with gunman for father. Our gunman for baby daddy. Like the Papa Bear, the new nickname. <laughs> Bear. Bear. <laughs> Call me that at the right time. So it, it y'all acting like y'all never seen good woman end up with bad man. Sometimes you don't know their big their their story. And then when you get to know their story, you already invested emotionally on in these things. Sometimes them women I think them can change a man. She's probably talking to him from another angle and say, yo, you can't let go that now enough. Come with me. Let's move from out of here. Let's go raise our child together and all this stuff. Probably gave him an ultimatum. And if you can't make it happen by this time, then we're going to have to end this relationship. And I'll raise because I don't want him raised as being a target. People want to lick off your head. The gunman, I look for dog paw. We can't catch dog paw. So we're going after his son. And we know which part to find them. These things she's probably telling him. I don't want that for us. I love you, but I don't want that for us. You know what I'm saying? That's why she probably put in there, watch over us the right way now. You couldn't do it in human flesh. You were too caught up in what was out here. Now that you've been made into an angel, watch over us, our spirit. Watch over us the right way now. She also has another child, which tells you that she moved on. She's in a whole other relationship with another picnic. She move on. She, her life goes on. I'm sure they're tired of having their name attached to dog paw. I'm absolutely sure. Because I would be. Every time y'all got to talk about my daughter, every time you're going to talk about me, speaking of Tom Tavares Finson, why not speak about all my accomplishments? Why not speak about all the good things that I've done? Why y'all talk about this wire? Still. So I'm sure I'm tired of it. So I want people to understand that that's probably where she was coming from with that. You know what I'm saying? Watch over us now the right way. She's going to miss her papa bear. Una offended. Why? What woman wouldn't miss their child's father? Unless he was like one of them choke you, slap you, call you all. Cut. Well, no, that go already. But one of them, um, you know, beat you down disrespectfully. And call you all kinds of name and degrade you. If he wasn't one of those, and some of them money here can be wicked as rotted on the outside enough. But the woman with them have, she is queen everything on a pedestal. So you can't tell her nothing bad about him because she knows protection. She knows love. She knows romance with him. But for us, no, I can't that to do it. Can't that you do it. That the man there, that you know how that go already, right? Yeah, so my girl, my sympathy goes out to you because you're now left with 
and, and I'm sure the, the youth is 10 years old. And if you go back and look 10 years ago, it was like that, but it wasn't really like that. So in saying this, I see a pattern of where she left. And she was like, I'm not into all this. I can't. I love you, but I can't do all this. If this is what you want, then go have that. If it's us that you want, me and your child, our family, then come this way. Him choose that way there. She went that way. End of the day, her child now has a dead father. And no matter how we slice that cake there, his dad is no longer here. So my sympathy goes out to the child. My sympathy goes out to the child. Bad man, wicked man. Not for them make sure their families are okay. So although them bad and wicked to eat, to their children who know nothing of that other side of them, this is daddy. This is Papa Bear. This is, you understand? So in those contexts, my sympathy goes out. Not true? Tell me, tell me how my song. Or should I be on the bandwagon too and say, go ahead, because gunman she like, gunman him she hold, she like that. You are a big example of where gunman breeds for gunman, you know, them either end up a prisoner, them dead and you end up a fear raise the baby for your own. You call yourself smart and you never know them tick. What good is that doing now at this point? It's not like she is financially um, hurting. She's very well protected from a prominent family. See? So I'm like, she's going to struggle and beg with nothing. Please do a GoFundMe and send me some money. Call Auntie Donna and apply. Try to help me. Bill up a chicken coop to get 100 chicken in there. Matter of fact, there's a lady that actually wants me to do that for her. Um, man, I, I'll put her information up on another video. But yeah. So at this point, the child lost his dad. Yeah, the law is going to do what the law does, dealing with whatever went on over there. And they will have to carry on with life. And that child will have to grow up eventually will know the truth because Jamaica culture will not hide nothing and now we live in the world of internet the internet hides nothing and and erases nothing uh Rochelle Rochelle says where did I get the shirt I had the shirt made actually so if you look under every video that I put up on SoFlow TV you will see my merch line my store we have a store it's the SoFlow TV store and it has a bunch of different stuff in there it has hoodies um leggings tights winter clothing as well as summer clothing and all that and with different things on them this one here didn't make it to the store yet i was just wearing it to advertise it before i put it in the store highly offensive to some people but it's my people that are like in my people that are subscribers but they're like around my mom's age group kind of thing they're like hitting me on the low so flow um, I don't know. I was watching that um, your live this morning. I couldn't even look because I was trying to just look at your face and not that shirt because that shirt just sent me off the edge. I get those. I got I got a couple of those. What do you mean send you off the edge? The shirt? Yes. And I'm sure your grandmother would not be proud of that uh, if she saw that shirt. And you, all kind of something. So I understand it's offensive to some, but I wear it for a reason. I wear it for a reason. There's a method to this madness. All right. All right, with dog paw, the updated information is not only what Leah said and how people are reacting to it. Remember, I'm telling you, you know, try to be more empathetic or put, put your feet in other people's shoes sometimes before you speak. On the other end, or before you cast judgment, on the other end, the updated information from the JCF is that because everybody is asking, so which part the other people them there that were in the car with him? They claim that because of some intelligence that they got, somebody snitch or tell, because of some intelligence they got, they followed the intelligence, they located the vehicle, they went to try to get the vehicle to stop. The vehicle pull over, stop, and dog power jump out and start shooting at them. They shot back and he's no more. All right. We're asking, so how come only dog power did make it to front page news? What happened to the other occupants of the vehicle? Because the first story said a car full of men. Well, what other story has come out now is that the driver of that car has also been arrested. And she, yeah, is a she. It's a female. 
So as him and a female was traveling, I don't know if there were more people to the vehicle. I'm sure there's more to come from this story, but so far they have released that it was a female that was driving the vehicle. So you see, when we talk to the woman them, and I say to you that you got, man, y'all are the ones. Like, I'm not blaming you. I'm just trying to show you how powerful you are. A lot of these people who are into nastiness and madness, they are encouraged by women somewhere. A lot of times they do it for a woman they're, they're trying to impress or a woman that they have to keep up a certain lifestyle that they have uh, brought her into. She like red bottoms. She like this. She like that. And you have to make sure that the money they always did it. It don't matter if you got to go take contract hits and kill people to get it or sell drugs to get it and bad up and control an area and do extortions to get it. She don't care. She'll go around, go brag how fair man bad and you can't do her nothing and all these things. She'll help you to wash the dirty bloody clothes when you come in, burn evidence, hide evidence, tuck your gun in some part and crevices and carry it into certain places for you and all these kind of things. Wrap up the coke and push it up in the hoo-ha and transport it, go over way where you go get your money for you and these things. So women play a very big part. So I'm not surprised, but yes, that was the other part of the information concerning dog part of the, the, the driver of that car he was in was a woman me i wonder if she was shot i'm wondering how come them three had gone shot with she right there and she never gets shot because you know jamaica police go if you in the car and you jump out a car and a shoot and intelligence say it's a car full of man i'm not waiting for anybody else to get out of that car they light up the whole car including you standing next to the car shooting at me so I'm wondering like more information, but we, as this thing goes forth, we will update you on the more information in a way that we can make sense of it all. See, Jamaica needs to bring back capital punishment. Georgia Cunningham says, Georgia, you know what? Um, funny thing is, I wonder if I go to school with Georgia. Come I mean, you know what? Georgia, you know, she's now an attorney um, with her own law firm in Jamaica, but probably not you. The, 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 what me that say? Jamaica needs to bring back capital punishment. Me and wifey was just discussing this again. Me not have nobody else to talk to people like in my face all day. So, wifey is almost always around. So, when we said me and wifey was talking, it's not makeup, it's what we do, right? We discuss these topics together. That's why I told her that she needs to start having me come on her show sometimes and she come on my platform sometimes. So y'all can get a different somebody else's, a female's angle of this, this view, this thing. I try to be as well-rounded as that Jamaica messed up with, which wifey said yesterday, is they took hard labor out of prison. Bad enough we did away with hanging or capital punishment, but we took hard labor out of prison. So when man go prison now, them have man in there, wash them clothes, they only want my white whites, call me at the down around here. And you're in there, scoop, scoops, man, underwear and wash them clothes and thing there. That's how you know you shouldn't have been there because now you're bad out of road. But in your man of you, I wash them underwear. These kind of things. And that reached some of them youth here. But they took hard labor out of the prisons in Jamaica. Hard labor back in the day. I don't know if you remember something where they used to say about something about Godong and Manuel Roger Brock Rockstone. Hard labor. You were shackled. And you were using a sledgehammer to break rocks all day. I don't know if you've ever driven through Jamaica and you see them big cut stone wall there where back up people, property, and some highway side and these kind of things so you don't drive over a precipice. Those walls are beautiful. Right now, if they had some of them youth that broke in rocks to an eight hours a day with a sledgehammer, they would do one experience and never ever want to go back again. And others would see it as a deterrent and be like, yo, no, sir, a real, a, a, a real slavery that. This is 1706 and 1801 right here in 2021. Me not subject myself to that, but it's not. It's a big party behind bars. Man, I chill out all day. All this testosterone build up in a one lick of space. So whole heap of foolishness go on behind there. And no rehabilitation is really taking place. So we have a revolving door. Who go in already is more likely to go in again. 
And when them go in, it's like going to Badman School. This is the college for Badman. When you come in here, you have a link with the top of top them. We're in here. The real man, them will run the road. We're in here. And them are going to show you other angles and give you other links. Then they're going to make contact, con, um, contact with the people outside and vouch for you. So by the time these people come out of prison, they're coming out one step up, a higher ranking than what they went in as because now they've made these connections. I'm going to say, yo, 20 years me getting on, I can't, you know, run a thing from outside, so I need some loyal soldiers out there. You do five years in here, and you did loyal to me in here. So, so when you go out, I'm going to link you up with so-and-so. And I'm -so. link up with so-and-so, and that's all that is. That's all that is. So it's like a bad man college I run. Bad man university, not prison. But the training ground, yes. But they need... Like the deterrent is not there. So hard labor, when you hear them say somebody gets sentenced to 10 years at hard labor, five years at hard labor. You wonder where is the hard labor? Because there's no hard labor there. What do I mean by hard labor? How we stop doing it. Right? Somebody says, I fear a uh, Bootlet, they took him from the car and just popped his. Somebody says, I heard dog paw never. He never have a gun, he never do nothing. They just took him out of the car and shoot him up. Well, hey, that's another part that eventually things will come out. I wasn't there. I like to go off facts. If I'm going to talk those things, I like to say, this is what the streets are saying or this is what the street is saying. I'm a left desa. I don't speak those things as if they're facts. See? He's gone. That's it. He's gone. So with that said, let's move on to the last part now. Because we are almost at the top of the hour. Yesterday we spoke about creating a hostile environment for women. See? These women that were calling me yesterday, please understand that I... I'm very sympathetic with you, empathetic. I feel your pain to the degree that I can feel it as a human being. Um, but all those calls during the day to listen to everybody's story while I'm trying to like work and fulfill my obligations as father and husband for the day, I don't have time. And it's my business line. And I don't mind listening, but if you could write it. One lady said she can't write it. Because if she writes it, she has to go through it step by step and it's going to break her down. All right. I spoke to one lady yesterday. This older woman tells me a story. And her story is that she lived in a certain part of Jamaica where the gang and gang life was always there and prominent. And the leaders of the area, as in political leaders and police officers, they feared these men. She said things would happen in the neighborhood where they would go and complain to the police and the police would let you know straight up that we can't do nothing about that. Just like that. This woman was crying. I had to put the phone on speaker because my wife was in the living room and I wanted her to hear it. This woman was crying uncontrollably. She is 60 something years old today. This happened to her at 14 years old and she told me a story of how the man them in the area used to say they own all the females in the area and them are every last one of them. And matter of fact, nobody outside can come in here come get no pooms. Everything in here for them. And it was established like that. Remember I told you all before there are areas where when bad man send go call girl, girl better go. People still living like that. This lady's story though, she says in the middle of the night, they took out the pain you know, you remove the pain of glass, them. They took out the panes of glass out of her house, removed her in the middle of the night from her bedroom, carried her across the street to a building that was there and had their way with her at 14 years old. And she said, So, Flo, yesterday when I heard these, it was so triggering when I heard like the, all these, I read the comment section and all these women were saying, Stuff about what had happened to them too. And then I watched the whole Makadama and talk about her story. And I don't understand how people who haven't been through it or weren't there can just jump up and say a lie she had tell. The woman, Paul, 
The deepest part about that was she's in her 60s. And she said she has never told this to anyone. She never, not even her best friend in life knows this about her. And she thought she was going to go to her grave with this. And now she thinks that I'm the perfect person to actually just tell that story here just to see if she can get it off her chest and get it out. At the end of the conversation, that lady left the phone saying she feels unburdened. She feel like she just took off a thousand pounds off her back just because she was able to say to somebody that this happened to me without the judgment, without the, so what you did do fit make that happen now. And you know, them kind of something there. So these things are real. These things are very real. These are people life. And like I said before, Stop being a part of the group. I'm going to say two things this morning. One, because someone want to jump from platform to platform, carry people name, talk bad. Over here, you're a big up yourself, so flow. Then you go up on the next platform. I said, I can't stand that E that boy. Then go on like him, know everything. Stop being that two-faced person. But you know, people are going to be themselves regardless. Stop tearing down or helping to tear down people who are trying to do good to uplift you or others like you. It's stupid. That's like somebody saying, I'm building you a house because you're homeless. And every time they put up a brick, me use a hammer and lick it to it. Stop the man, me I try to build one house so you can have somewhere to live. Lick on the brick there. That make no sense. So stop tearing down people who are trying to uplift you and yours, right? And also stop help being a part because a lot of you, or not a lot of you, but some people get on social media and they get carried away with the jokes. And, they, and, and you don't understand that the appropriate timing. They get carried away with the, yo man, I like, she like. Mm, me like the comment there. Either is a boss, she look. When last she get a hit song? Oh, me like the comment there. Throw my talk to. All you're doing is empowering those who are hurting those who have already been hurt. How big of a person does that make you? You know what I'm saying? So just like, um, Unstoppable said yesterday, if you don't have nothing good to say, it's best to sometimes just don't say nothing. Just pass the story, read it, take it in and pass it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Healing, she let go of the weight she was carrying. That's what I was talking to her about. I was talking to her about the heavy burden that she's saying feels like it's lifted because this is the first time. 60 something years old. Let that sink in. And this happened to her at 14. Could you imagine how traumatic that is? I bet she wasn't sleeping through that whole process when they were taking the, the pains out. But like I said to you yesterday, you see some people know they have protection, so they're going to scream. Because when me scream, my father have a rifle around there and I'm going raise it up. And the thing around there dead. My father is this, my father is that, my mommy is this and that. They have protection and they know it. Some people don't have that protection. So they have to go along to get along. So when man come and I take out the pain, them out of your bedroom window and come in your room, come lift you up and pass your true window to go have a gangbang in the middle of the night on a child. How traumatic is that? And remember I said yesterday, you know, some people in the comments said, and it's always the men. So why should I never scream out then? I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Some people freeze in fear. Freeze. I've seen man going to firefight already and went pop, 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 and they raised their rifle up and froze. Froze. You're trained to kill. You're trained to close with and destroy the enemy, and you froze. When it got really real, when stuff started pinging off of right where your head is at, it's different. Froze. The lady yesterday that said, leave a mark. Because she broke up the glass and I'm our, our uncle or her auntie's husband's face. And he couldn't explain to other people how his face got like that. So you have to make up stories that some people are brave enough to do that. Some people freeze and think, if I say nothing, he's going to kill me. My father just stay here and just take it. And they're left like that for life. 
and that memory plays over and over and over and over as if it just happened. Living with that from 14 to 60 something years old. So I asked her if she's getting any help. She said no. She's just dealt with it all these years. She's tried to suppress it and carry on her life all these years. You know what I mean? Uh, Lavender Smile says, yes, you lose your voice. You ever be in a dream where you are screaming, but you weren't screaming in real life? Nobody in the house heard you scream. But when you wake up, that dream felt so real, you sure the neighborhood did hear you scream. Is one of them thing that. Dizzy D says, nah, cure is free. Cure is not free, fam. You're watching. Okay, I'll 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 address that on another video later. I'll address that on another video later. Y'all gonna have to watch social media anyone. Anyway, and and make sure you vet your sources and make sure you stop using just like Mr. Vega said yesterday when the female and shout out to those of you who defend me on other platforms because you're here to vouch and you're like, nah, I sit and watch this dude talk. And there's no tear down there. I don't know what where you're getting this from. Uh, he never said what you're saying that he said just now. There are people in this audience that does that for me. And that's why I say I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I appreciate you more than you even know how. Because without you, they would have tore this down a long time ago. They would have tore this down a long time ago. The female that said to Mr. Vegas yesterday, in the comment section, she said, that's not what he said. If you watch the video, you will see that he was actually defending Maka. You know what his reply to her was? And that's why I'm tag him right away. I didn't just leave a comment. I went straight to him. I tagged him right away. And I said, I bet you won't call in on Morning Thoughts. And let's have an intelligent conversation. I said, thank you to her as well. And thank you to a couple more people that were over there. That were defending. She told Mr. Vegas, don't get caught up in the lies. And what other people are spreading and all this stuff. That's not what he said. Mr. Vega said to her, me not have to watch the video. The title alone tells me everything. That's to show you what kind of people I'm dealing with. Okay. That's like telling me to read a book and then do an essay on it or come do a video about the book. And me go it and say, you know what? Me not have to read that book here. The cover and the back tell me everything. And then I come up here saying I'm doing some reveal all about the book. I can't talk about chapter 14. I can't talk about chapter 11. I can't talk. Me not have to watch the video is what he said. Me not have to watch the video. The title alone tell me everything. Right. More power to you, bro. More power to you. God go with you. Kind of wish party I'm gonna make go. We don't have the same destiny. All right, blessings. Gaza bless. Big up yourself. Gaza bless. So far, me have a video to send your family. How can I send it to you? We need to talk about this. All right, it's soflowtv at gmail.com. S O U F L O T V at gmail.com. See? And if the video um, file is too big to send straight like that, use you send and send it that's how artists send me their whole video and stuff through you send so the brother who wants me to promote his video with the uh something twins sexy body twins are something twins is two beautiful chocolate sisters that are very sexy and their video is overtly sexual um and they have nothing in the video that brother I haven't touched the money. It's still sitting there because I cannot access your video the way it is. We talked to you about this before. Um, please use YouSend. If you can use YouSend and send me the video, then I can chop it and get it out there and get your promo going. All right. Uh, Novia Bruce, thank you for tuning in. You catch a live, but you catch it at the end. You catch it at the end. Let's go through some of these comments and big up some people. DMAC, 
I appreciate you greatly and I thank you. You know, said DMAC, DMAC, and I need to highlight this. DMAC says, stop violence against women. DMAC does this almost every single morning that I go live. DMAC puts a donation in every morning and also a message with that donation every single morning. No, he's not, no, I don't know if he's wealthy, but I don't think he's no wealthy millionaire or anything. And I don't think, and he's not putting in no big $100 and $50 donation. It's a simple $2 donation with his message every morning. And I appreciate that greatly. At the end of the week, it adds up to about $5, I mean $10, but it's a $10 donation. You understand? And the fact that he tunes in every morning. So I appreciate that, DMAC. I thank you. I appreciate you and all others like you. All right? Who again? So flow, you yeah, give the boy too much time. No fam, that's what people like you say, but me have to try and make you understand it differently. That's why I talk about entities that do damage control for their business. If I was giving somebody too much time, it would be somebody that nobody knows. Therefore, the risk is minimal. But when it's somebody who has a platform for themselves, somebody who is well established out in the world, they can drag you down pretty quickly. And you will watch all the hard work that you did crumble. Not them people here mash up enough good people who was trying to do something good. So you have to speak. You have to speak. Remember, closed mouths don't get fed. That's real. So you have to speak. See? Cooking with Cleo says it could be very well. He really didn't engage them on the day in a shootout, but it was destined to be his way since they live by the gun. The same way you live, same way you die. Whatever happened in that dog park situation there, me and I talk about it like I was there, but we can hypothetically speak because we're family. And I saw family have... You know what I don't like about what um this whole blog, blog thing has become? It's become people forcing you to be politically correct. It's like forcing a comedian to tell dry jokes because you know what's funny but oh you can't say that because it's too wrong it's a comedian is a joke that's what they do over here this is our house this is family inside talking around the breakfast table early in the morning it's not stuff where we're gonna say out in the road um, print it in the press. But now people are turning that into something totally different. So now you have to be like, oh, well, well you know, no, no, um, no, can't say nothing. So if you can't say nothing, and oh, um, you know, no, then why have a platform? Why come out and try to pe speak to people, but then you have to be silent? I don't get it. Yes, Maud, you have to talk. Gaza Farin, you're dead. Eh? Yes. Yes. This message is being held for review. Those kind of men are straight savages. Shaking my head. Yeah. Animals. Below human. Excrement. Can't even call them animals because you see how animals live. Animals only fight when it's time to fight over their territory and protect their pride or protect their youngins or this kind of stuff or for survival or for food. Per se, some of them money are like when you do stuff like that, like remove window pane and take a girl out of her room. And I, what there's there was no ends means to ends for that. That was totally unnecessary. That was way past barbaric. So it's a disrespect to even disrespect the animals them like that by comparing them to animals. Island Vibes says you and Mr. Vegas are fight the same fight. So please try and get along. You're not hearing nothing. You're not hearing anything. Me and Mr. Vegas might be fighting the same fight. I don't know. But from what I'm seeing, his intentions aren't good. His intentions aren't good. And his intentions aren't good for me. So how am I supposed to try to get along? I shouldn't be the one you should be. This, this is what I'm talking about right here. 
I shouldn't be the one that you're telling that to. Go tell that to him. Go tell him that Soflo is a good youth. Go tell him you've never heard Soflo disrespect and drag down people and drag them name through the mud. You've never heard Soflo make up lie upon nobody and spread it. You've never heard Soflo so cuss out Jamaica and turn him back on it and tell others to do the same. You've never, go, go do that to him. Don't come over here and tell me that because it makes it look like we're two boxers in a ring and we have decided mutually that we're going to fight this out. We, I'm not in no ring. Someone's trying to drag me into the ring. I am not in a ring. My gloves are not on. I'm not boxing. They're throwing blows. I'm speaking out against them. Y'all need to stop confusing that. Some of y'all be so afraid. It's like, oh, I love my artist so much. But me like so flow to you know. So now go straddle the line and say, y'all need to get it together and stop the go to the source. Go to the source. So Mr. Vegas, me like you. Been following you for a while. Me like your music, all this. That thing that you have going on with SoFlo, y'all need to sit and talk about it and get it out of the way and whatever. He's doing good things. You're doing good things. I think y'all are fighting the same fight. How about you guys unite and make something bigger happen because bigger things can happen through our unity, their strength, and we can move mountains when we're unified, right? Go do that. That will be more um, progressive than telling me that we need to learn to get along. You can't get along with somebody that's throwing blows at you. Not until they stop throwing the blows and decide that they want to talk. This is real life. If you go out the door right now and a youth are trying to thump off your head, where's that going? What does that leave you to do other than defend yourself? Are you going to sit there and dodge blows and be like, yeah, but let's talk. Let's talk this out now. Let's, we, we need to get along. No, you, you, you got to throw blows back. I just saw it go. So talk to the right person about this. All right. This is a brand. This is started by me, built by you guys. And this brand is under threat from somebody that has the capability to discredit this brand. Or at least to tarnish it in some way in some people's minds. And it's not necessary. But you know what? End of the day, who come and stay, come and stay. And they stay for a reason. And who leave, they leave. They leave for a reason. That's it. I can't control who come and stay. It's probably not a platform for everybody. This is a platform for well thinkers. This is a platform for people who are not too biased that they can't listen to somebody else's opinions. This is a platform for people who can appreciate a good banter back and forth. We don't have to see everything the same way, but we have respect for each other regardless. It's just like having a conversation with your family members. Me and my sister, who share the same mother, same father, we don't agree on everything, but I'm not going to disrespect her. Same thing for you and your parents. Do your parents agree with everything or on everything? No, but are you going to let people just disrespect themselves? And are you going to just disrespect them, sir? No. You understand? So that's how I approach this. Big up yourself, DMAC. Clinton Forbes, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And Clinton Forbes says, bless up. All right, people. We don't like the channel. Who don't like the channel? Read the T-shirt and move. See him so far. Blood clot, and that it's it. For so long, let me address this real quick before I get out of here. I'm about to end the video just to give you a heads up. For so long, we have been taught to hate everything about us that came from our ancestors and to glorify things that others have given us. The people who gave it to us didn't like anything from our ancestors. So they eliminated everything. Missing them big up witchcraft, but bon obia. Missing them, and you have witches flying around on brooms. Them get movies. 
them get videos and video games and all these things. Our stuff get demonized. The way we speak, if we go down in a saw real factor. Lord, oh my God, that is for the uneducated. It is so uncouth. Like it's the worst of the worst. Well, me travel the world. I've been to many countries and every one of them which part me go. They don't want to hear me speak this. Oh, I speak the Queen's English. I'm so honored. <laughs> the Queen don't even see your brother. Yeah, I speak the Queen's English. Uh, from me say, uh, Jamaica I come from because they're like, I hear an American accent in there. I say, yeah, I grew up in the U.S., but man really come from Jamaica still. Ah, now I hear the Jamaican coming out when you say that. You really Jamaican though or are you faking it? No, I'm, I'm really, really Jamaican. Nah, you one of them Jamaicans. I said, no, I'm actually really a Jamaican. You wasn't born there. Yes, I was. Really? Speak it then. What you want to say? Can't me start now, you're not going to over. not what me I try to tell you. Oh, my God, he's Jamaican for real. Yo, yo, blood. Listen, listen. Sit, do it again. Do it again. I've been, yeah, so I've learned that when we go in our room, I'm going to say, Bumbo Clot, everybody. I'm going to say, Bumbo Clot. Oh, so we're not really like dude upon the bottom of my shoes. It, our culture is not something that we should hide. When you go into the world, you know, don't talk to anybody like this because they're going to think you're from a lesser place and you're not too educated and your family come from squalors and all this. So you have to try to master the English and round up your words. And we're not bad. We're not bad. It's 2021 moving into the future and the world love us. The world look like it even love us more than we love ourselves. Yeah? So when we do this, may I bring back our love for us, to us. Love and accept you. And then the world will do so even more. Respect you and yours. And the world will do so even more. That's the principle behind this. So again, like one person just said, who come on the channel and see it and don't like it? Read it and do one of them there. Move. All right? Don't let it offend you so much. It's way deeper than that. See? I'm proud of my Caribbean culture. I'm proud of my Jamaican culture, to be particular. Um, wouldn't have it any other way. If you ask me to be born all over again and do it over again, I would say, God, please give me the same thing again. Well, minus the granny beating them, because them something they never nice at the time. I can joke about those now, but it, it wasn't nice at the time. But even then, we were having jokes with it. Used to run around the house, and my cousin said, me, I want to turn all the ants and climb up in her clothes and bite off on her body, man. And then she come to one side of the house and said, hey, no. And you shot to go to the next side. And me not take no beating. No, you are going there first. I run back and argue who was going to take lick and these kind of things. Yeah, but I wouldn't change anything for the world. I'm proud. And that's all it is. All right. Troy Stars Trucking Vlogs is right here. And like I say in every video all morning, every morning, Troy Stars Trucking Vlogs, please go over to YouTube. Here's his channel right now. He's here. Click on Troy and go over there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just go and subscribe. And please watch the brother video then. I just shared one of them yesterday because um, Troy's been away for a while. And I was wondering why you did them, my brother. Like, we never see the video that might come out, but I understand by watching the video yesterday. Won't load it up. Just let those who do tune in go find out all that other stuff. He says, good morning, everyone, and big up yourself. So flow up, up, up. And for us, up, up, up means wake up. Wake up. Because someone will sleep. Walking, sleeping. Wake up. Wise up. We're not all born wise. None of we born wise. We learn as we grow. But at some point, you're going to have to start wising up. Nobody talk about this is me. This has always been me. And I saw me I got still. No, you need to change some things. Right? Wake up, wise up. And then what naturally happens after that is you rise up. So it's wake up, wise up, and rise up. That's why I miss it. Up, up, up. All right? Big up on yourself. We're going to leave this one right here this morning. Shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who tune in on a regular basis. 
All those who try to catch it live and can't catch it, and then them end up watching it over later, I appreciate you so much for that. Because you could have been like, why well, miss me and gone? So, hey, I hate that. Me catch the next one. But you actually sit there and watch them. I appreciate you greatly for that. To each and every one of you, man, keep it positive. Through everything, keep it positive. You hear me, I said? Don't make nobody draw you out of your element because this is how life is. Some people do take you out of character. So you have to talk about some bomb cloth and go on like, but stay in your element. All right? Have a blessed day. And I'll catch you all tomorrow morning right here on SoFlow TV where we can talk about things them and vibe and vibrate together. Higher vibrations. Manners and respect. I'm out. Peace.